Hey y'all and good morning. I was just about to leave and then I remembered I didn't feed the cats their second breakfast. So if you don't know, my cats are ultra spoiled and they get two breakfasts, breakfasts, which doesn't make sense because really it's basically they get a can, a small can of cat food that they share and then because they're kittens and I feed them kitten food still, I give them half of a can of the small can in the morning, which is not even true because Marvin does that. And then before I leave for the day, I give them another half of a can each. So they, they're basically getting a full can in the morning for breakfast. So it's not really two breakfast, but second breakfast just sounds more spoiled, which they still are. If you don't follow me on Instagram, Our Gray House, G-R-A-Y, if you don't follow me over there, then you missed my whole talk about this outfit that I'm wearing today, why I didn't tuck the shirt, the, the you know, concerns and comments about the way I cuffed my pants, but uh, yeah, so you missed out on a good, good convo this morning, <laughs> I'm just telling you. Here we are in my kitchen, and... I normally, before I head out for the day, I rinse out their bowls one more time after they had their first breakfast. And then, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, no, no claws on the couch. So I need to buy that orange spray stuff on my couch to just kind of set the couch a little bit so that way they won't um, recycle. They Oh, everybody's coming out. Okay. I have two cats only, but when they hear the food, they're like, yay, she called my name. So uh, I need to buy that orange spray stuff, and I'm probably going to use like an essential oil spray, I think. I'm not quite sure. See, this is the little can. It's Pro Plan. Purina Pro, Pro Plan Focus Kitten Food. Salmon and Ocean Fish Entree. Tasty. <laughs> Smells like cat food, which, and then we kind of mash it up a little bit because I told you guys they're a little bit spoiled. Kind of mash it up, and then I add just a little bit of warm water to each. Yeah, I do. And kind of mix that in. This recipe is not going up on the blog, by the way. This just is a. Uh, Either you get it or you don't. Rinse that off. We don't need the smell of cat food in the air. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. He knows what I'm saying. And now we're gonna serve. I got these bowls at home. No, where did I get them? At Home Goods. I got them at Home Goods. See, super cute. And I also got this bowl that says meow, and then a Ray Dunn bowl that says meow. That that's their that's their um, dinnerware, if you will. Come on, stop. Who wants food? Are you hungry? Okay, come over here. They they try to they get to. I also give them dry food and a bowl of water. So I always leave kibble down. I call dry food kibble. I always leave kibble down during the day and uh, I let them free feed. Although some people would argue and say that that's not the best thing to do. I'm looking for my sweater. They would say that that's not the best thing to do, but that's what I do, and they're my cats, and they're not overweight at this time. So, maybe if they started to be overweight, then I would be like, oh, okay, let's not do that, shall we? All right, now I'm gonna go. Go get me a hot chocolate and go to work. Bye, boys, I love you, Captain. I love you, Socks, have a great day. Am I the only one that says bye to their cats or their animals before they go? To start their day. No, I know other people do it too, but yeah. See, this is this is an example of we have not put up the shelving in the garage yet because I want. Whoa, sorry. 
I want Rubbermaid to help me kind of like design a, like, where should the shelves go? Which shelves should I use? Okay, work day is done and I'm headed home. We're gonna go meet Carrie and Gavin at Texas Roadhouse. So if you wanna meet us there, <laughs> by the time you see us, we'll be gone. So I'm also bringing home some sugar. And the reason I'm randomly carrying some sugar is because Patty, the office was making jello shots and she had to have sugar so she bought the sugar she's not going to use it the office won't use it or probably wouldn't so i was like okay i'll take it home sure bright sun bright sun uh, she was making the jello shots and i'm gonna put this up front with me because my luck it'll spill everywhere and there's a good chance it'll spill everywhere anyway but at least um minimizing the risk anyway so patty was making jello shots and i don't know what recipe dang it my um thing that holds up my phone when i like film it fell so when patty was following this recipe it called for a fourth of a cup of sugar for jello shots i don't know i've never made jello shots and i don't know where she found the recipe but anyway it called for a fourth of a cup of sugar and girlfriend puts in a half a cup. So I don't even know if those are going to turn out or if they're going to be like super sweet or what. But she put them in the refrigerator at work and that's where they're going to set because she's going to come by here, I guess, tomorrow and pick them up. I don't know. She's crazy though. I do know that. We are at Walgreens and we just got finished. We just finished eating at Texas Roadhouse and it was delish, but y'all, look. So do you know what pigs in a blanket are? I don't know, maybe yes. In Walgreens, as seen on TV, is this kit to make pigs in a blanket. So basically you put the batter down and then you put the hot dog in and then you put more batter on top. But see, it's like a pig. just seems weird. I don't know. Kind of tempted to get it. <laughs> hey y'all and welcome to Hot Chocolate Chat. Today I'm drinking a hot chocolate from Starbucks. It's Friday and we got some things to chat about. So I went to my local Starbucks which is not really conveniently located anymore because it's like almost two miles away. And I like all of the baristas there, and my boy Gio was there. I think he calls himself, Ish Your Boy Gio, or something like that. I think he literally says it like, Ish Your Boy, not It's. Not saying like, It's Your Boy. It's like, Ish Your Boy, that kind of thing. He's a YouTuber as well, and a content creator on YouTube. But um, he must have been like creeping my older videos, because he was talking about one of them. Although his content's just a little bit different than mine. Not quite the same genre. But we he was he watched one of my old videos and it was the one I was talking about what you wear to the store. It's the one where the lady came in the store wearing her pajamas and I was like, was the house on fire when you left? Cause why? He said, he being it's your boy Gio, he said that he would wear like his pajamas out in public. And he said that he would wear like a uni I think he said a unicorn onesie or something. I'm not really sure, but he said he would wear a onesie out. But I'd like to point out that the difference is you didn't wake up saying today's today's out O O T D is gonna be my unicorn onesie. You're wearing that to be funny or like you're messing around or something. I don't know. I really don't know why you'd wear it. But okay, so you're wearing it. But not as like on purpose. But like you wake up and you think, today I'm wearing a onesie. That's, it's not, I, I don't know. If that happens to you, tell me. Now, if you're a baby or a toddler, I get it. That That's one of the things you're probably going to wear. But other than that, I don't know. And I was going to talk about some other things. Like, did you know that leprosy still exists in America? Yep, it does. It still exists. But we're going to have to save that chat for another day, as well as some other stuff I was going to mention, because i got to go inside and get some work done. So, if you want to follow me on Snapchat, it's Side of Awesome, and on Instagram and YouTube, it's Our Gray House. 
but just don't follow me in real life though because that's creepy. P.S. Gio, you're going to have to tell me, it's a boy, boy. Like, I don't, am I saying it right?